Here we have our lightweight champions, weighing 400 milligrams with a record of 10-0 coming from Wilmington, Delaware. Dai is a voracious fighter with adjusted mandibles that allow him to rip his competitors apart. Don't forget about his thin, streamlined body. He gives us so much speed that his competitors never know when to strike. This gives him a huge advantage to strike from all angles. Dai has these wings that stick straight out that is a huge advantage. It gives him a speedy escape out of dangerous situations. Aren't they an easy target for his competitors? You would think that they would target them since his wings will never fold back like a damsel fly. You'd think so, but I think that's what makes Dai so intimidating, especially with his huge compound eyes. I think his upbringing may add to that. His family wasn't really there for him. They weren't you socialists like many of his hymenopteran competitors were. Good point. He went from an egg to nymph to his adult stage with hardly any parental care. He grew up in the water and learned to fight at a young age to defend himself, and that has helped him a lot in his career with the IMA. That's a really good point. Let's look at some of his highlight videos. We can see in this fight from the beginning of his career that he's always had a talent for keeping his opponents close. It's crazy to think how strong this 400 milligram beast really is. I wonder how it will hold up to his new challenger. Look at Dai diving straight into the fight, never really backing down. He's really showing his aggressive style. His speed is really on display in this video. Yeah, you can also see how he's using his wings to his advantage to really take up space and strike in all angles. Again, you can see Dai showing his aggression. Yeah, he's definitely an up-close fighter. Look how he literally destroys this beast head, really showcasing his strength with his mandibles. He also has full control of this fight as he holds his competitor close with his legs. Let's hear all about this new contender. Pat is the young upstart looking to win the lightweight title. Weighing 6 grams, he's got a large weight advantage against Dai, as well as a greater reach because of his modified raptorial arms. I think Dai should be a little bit worried. Pat's record stands at 8-2, and two, but he's a heavy hitter. Still, it's not going to be easy to get past Dai. He's fast and nimble. He may be fast, but if he gets stuck, he might be in danger. Pat also has a modified set of mandibles perfect for annihilating his competitors. His huge compound eyes and triangular head gives him a big advantage to see what's coming so he can quickly adjust his technique accordingly. That's true. Let's go to the video tape. Pat has even trained for years to hone his fighting style, even learning some kung fu. You can really see his dedication to his training in, in this highlight video. He immediately grabs his competitor with his long raptorial arms to lock him in place. You can see his competitor can't really move anywhere. His long antenna also give him the advantage to detect his competition within the ring before striking, which gives him the best accuracy. I think Dai should be worried about that. His antenna are small and bristle-like, a huge disadvantage compared to Pat. And without warning, Pat immediately gets in Dai's face. Poor Dai doesn't look like he has a chance. Dai usually makes the first move, but I guess the strength and weight of Pat was something that hit him by surprise. This is a personal battle, not for the win, but for the personal satisfaction of being stronger. Look at how Pat's just ripping it to Dai. Will Dai make a comeback? Is this it for this lightweight champion? Pat is just rubbing the victory in. I think it's time to crown a new lightweight champion in IMA. I think you're right. <laughs> What a fight! I don't think Dai was entirely prepared for it. You think we'll see a rematch in the future? I think we should notify Dai's family. I think they'd want to know. <laughs> Wait, he doesn't have a family. They don't practice parental care in their hemi-metabolistic life. Oh. Well, uh, darn. I guess that's it for this fight. Tune in next time to IMA for the next challenge. Who will be the lucky contestant to challenge Pat, the new lightweight champion?